Yeah, it is what that. it is. Yeah. Uh, we're not even going to really uh, go into this. Uh, as soon as you see this video, uh, start sharing, start sharing, start sharing. Uh, the Citizens Against Veterans on Patrol just literally attacked homeless veterans all over Arizona. And not only that, just uh, volunteers across. So I want you to share, 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 share. So the Inspector General of the U.S. Postal Service at some point can get a lot of calls. So start sharing this video. As soon as you see it live, this is going to be an urgent all call because some cowards went after homeless veterans and stopped their mail, which means now you have vets that can't get their DD-214s, can't get their checks, can't get their food stamp benefit cards, can't get their paperwork to go into housing, can't get their paperwork for education, and can't get their paperwork for job employment. So please start sharing, 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 sharing. I'm going to repeat this. You have some cowards from veterans, uh, citizens against veterans on patrol who just shut down the mail that not only Alpha uses, but the mail that the homeless veterans and the homeless in, Air in Tucson, Arizona use. They just literally, we don't care about our supply line. I'm going to give you guys an address at the end of this video that you can still send us supplies. My concern is they just shut down the mail for homeless veterans. And not just homeless veterans. I mean, we have around 40 to 50 people at that camp any given time. They all depend on the mail that my wife and I paid and set up for them. They don't pay for it. No one else does. My family pays for it. Uh, so the, the only thing I'm irritated right now, because we're going to stay on top of this mountain. We're going to stay doing our job. We're going to stay in this valley. We're going to stay fighting. Um, it doesn't matter. God's going to provide what we need regardless. But since they decided that they were going to go out and attack homeless veterans and shut down the mail, now I got vets that aren't going to have their paperwork in time to do their apartments, aren't going to have their paperwork in time to get their appointments. And it's not just homeless veterans. Understand, we got severely mentally ill people at Bravo Base. And um, somehow they made a complaint. A lady named Kat is taking all the credit for it. There's a lot of people that are posting on their page. We're going to give you the name of every individual, their address and everything. So I want everybody to start screenshotting everything the veterans or citizens against VOP are doing. Um, because I want everyone in my city, we're going to post them out. Not now if you're calling me. I want everyone in my city to know who these individuals are. These people are not even from Tucson. These people are not even in Arizona. Of 200-something people here, uh, we got someone on the way to Bravo to try to work good. Uh, we have teams mobilizing right now. Uh, but um, the people who aren't even in our state have nothing to do with what we're doing. People who don't have nothing to do with what we're doing are able to get the U.S. Postal Inspector to shut down the mail that homeless veterans and homeless civilians get their mail. Now, I understand we've been running this program for three years, okay? For three years, we've been running this program. Never once been any issue about people mailing in supplies to be given to the homeless. Never once been any issue about mail being able to be delivered to the homeless, okay? They rely on this mail to get their ID cards. Without their ID cards, they're not getting an apartment. They rely on this mail to get their DD-214. They need their DD-214 to apply for certain city services. They rely on this mail to stay in contact with their family. They rely on this mail to get, to get their... Uh, they rely on this mail... And some chicken shit cowards who ain't got the balls to come down here to video to show you guys that they're full of shit have decided that they were going to contact postal inspectors and shut down the mail that the homeless veterans use. So, so basically, and it doesn't affect our supply line, you know, because supplies are going to continue to get dropped off at Bravo. I'm going to post an address. Let's keep shooting these two. It's just going to give me a minute to calm down. It's good. I had to reconnect for a minute, which why I don't know why. We're way up here on top of a freaking mountain. But, uh, you know, we were up and we ran our ops. We've been running our night ops. And the first thing I get to wake up to after a few hours of sleep, and it's hot up here, um, <laughs> is the news that one group's bragging that they were able to con some inspector general in the Postal Service, a friend of theirs, who went down and shut down the mail for veterans on patrol. And then uh, the screenshot was going around. So I messaged my wife to ask if it was true. And then I got a call from her and you know, um, she's upset too, uh, and, and more so desperate. Like, how do we explain to the homeless that they can't get their mail no more? They've been able to get their mail for three years, you know. And then we set up this new P.O. box for them, and this is probably, they've got more mail going this way than they did through HMS because a lot of their mail got lost. Well, their mail's not getting lost now, now that they have their own P.O. box. Well, um, our mail system's been shut down. 
So Citizens Against Veterans on Patrol, yeah, good call. You found some crooked son of a bitch in the Postal Service office, some coward piece of shit, and you actually convinced him to shut down the mail for homeless people, keeping them homeless for who knows how much longer. You literally just delayed their case management. These are people with mental illness. These are people who, who are scared, don't even want to go into an apartment in some cases, and now you're just giving them an excuse right now. It's not meant to be. My mail's not here. You don't understand the nature of what you did and, and how coward you are. So we're it's just uh, we're asking uh, anonymous flat out. First off, we're gonna deal with the postal service and everyone else. Oh, we're gonna deal with you guys. Who the inspector general? My wife has all the name. We're gonna get his personal address, phone number, so you guys can send him personal phone calls and letters. Flood his mailbox. Flood his mailbox. Because homeless veterans aren't getting their mail in Tucson, Arizona, because some chicken shit's got some friends on Facebook and decided to abuse their authority and come in and shut down the mail. And we've been operating our homeless shelter for three years. Okay? There's never been any suspect of mail fraud. You can't fraud. You can't say money's related because my wife and I pay for everything. Our family pays for everything that doesn't come in material support. And there are hundreds of volunteers who's come through out here in Alpha just the past few weeks, month that we met, and they've seen this, and they know this, all right, so whoever it is, um, my wife's going to have it posted with the inspector general or whatever, the postal service guy, um, I don't want no one mad at UPS or Michelle, they're our friends, you know, I mean, they got a business to run, but I'm going to tell you something, those ladies are on our side, that's not them, this is some chicken shit cowards, there's 203, it was 300 something people that follow this group, and you have over 60,000 across the world supporting what we're doing out here. And every support they get trickles down. 100% goes down to the homeless vets. 100% from there goes over to Veterans Rescue Mission. No one gets paid. No one sells anything. No one takes any money. The government can't regulate us. Well, now the government just regulated us. So the government's abused its authority and has regulated our mail. I'm not having time to play with all this shit. There's going to be an address posted. You can send that shit to our house, and we'll take it down over to them. And we're not just going to post one address. We're going to post multiple addresses and let them shut down every VOP family member who's willing to take mail on behalf of Alpha Company and Bravo Base. Let them shut down a 100 of us, because that's the only way it's going to work. You're not going to be able to call President Trump on this. You're not going to be able to call your local legislator on this. You're not going to be able to do anything on this. Yeah, you're just not. The corruption's in bed so deep, some chicken shit named Cat used her, her buddy's connections to get the mail shut down for homeless. And at the end of the day, that mail was the homeless veterans' mail line set up. And then they allowed Alpha Company to use it. It would be easier to consolidate all the packages since everything goes over to them that's extra anyways. So in order to hurt Alpha Company, you decided that you were going to make sure that the homeless in Tucson don't get their food stamps, don't get their IDs, don't get letters from their family, don't get their applications for their services, don't get their paperwork they need to apply for services. You just made sure they don't get anything. You just effectively cut them off because you're too chicken shit to come out. You know you can't come out and prove relying. So now you're resorting to these little coward tactics. And I'm going to tell you something about righteous anger. You better keep me out here chasing these motherfucking pedophiles and these freaks on these freaking borders because you don't want me coming to your neighborhood. You don't want my righteous anger coming to your neighborhood because your chicken shit ass just attacked a bunch of homeless because you can't come down here. You, you just, you know, it, it's this is completely, utterly ridiculous. Good thing I'm on top of a mountain. I think God allowed this to happen at this time for a reason. But uh, we're asking everyone to share, share, share. Let them know that the citizens against homeless veterans, the citizens against veterans searching for children, the citizens for pedophiles, the citizens for the cartels, the citizens for corrupt government has just manipulated a U.S. inspector through one of their special friends. And that individual went down on a Friday when there's no time to get anything done in court and shut down the mail and cut all the homeless from Bravo off their mail all the volunteers from their letters of support and all of our supporters out there, those of you, those survivors sending us your letters we're compiling. They officially cut out all you guys and they did it on Clove Business Friday. Hey, you want to say something before I, I let you vent for a minute? Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 just like you said, man, I think that's the biggest chicken shit move that anybody can do. 
I mean, if, if you're not down here and you don't see what's being done and you're not walking through the fucking desert and you think it's fake that they're not doing anything, I puked on the way up this fucking mountain last night, packing a huge ass fucking pack, bro. Bring your ass out here and come see what they're doing, right? Brave the heat. Because what you just did, that really was chick shit. That that's 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 beyond, man. Because like he said, you didn't just affect him. You just affected a whole bunch of people that have absolutely nothing to do with this. Human beings, right? Regardless of, of, of anything else, they're human beings, dude. And if they need help and you just fucked all that up and delayed it, that... Um